All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing Honey Hills version. Um, it is Monday, May 4th. Um, I didn't get to stream this morning because I have a lot of work I had to finish up, but we're here now. We are back. We are ready. We got a lot of stuff done this weekend. I'm excited to show you guys. Hi, everyone. Right now in Honey Hills, it is 2.50 p.m. on Monday, May 4th, 2020. Just make sure this looks good. There isn't really much news to speak of today, but, oh... The latest copy of my favorite magazine today. I'm reading forward to looking reading later. Oh, okay, girl. I'll see. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. You got it, girl. All right. Wow, it is really storming in Honey Hills today. Okay. So let's see what mail we got. Oh yes, it's all my nook shopping. We got a cushion, whoops, and some more shopping. I know, I gotta put on a raincoat, oh my goodness. All right, first things first, let's check those turnip prices. But first, let's get, oh no, not you. Wow, it is like storming. That is cray cray. Look at that. All right, let's do this. So I built an entire new rock garden. Um, pretty awesome over the weekend. It was the first time ever that I have done any form of time traveling. Um, so it was really cool. Took a lot of time, but I think it's worth it. Now all my stones are all in one place together, you know. So. It'll be a lot easier to bonk them all. Just picking up some extra shelves to sell. Alright, let's go sell these stuff. Check turnip prices. Oh my god, hey! Oh man, I want to show you my garden real quick. Alright, so I don't know if you've seen some new renovations, but here is the rock garden. Check it out. What's good, rock garden? Oh my god, yesterday I accidentally ate a turnip and I bonked this rock after I did all my freaking changes and I had to redo all the mannequins all over again. It was so frustrating. But we here now, you know what I'm saying? Woo -woo. So it's worth it. I was like, you know what, should I go through with this again? So I ended up actually putting the mannequins on my island three separate times. What do you mean a hard reset? What does that do? Oh my god, good to see you on the stream. I feel like I haven't streamed in so long, it's been two days. <laughs> I guess that happens when you get used to stuff. Oh, I totally could have done that, but at the same time, um... I bought like all my turnips and stuff, so I was like, eh, whatever. I'll just freaking deal with the pain. Daisy May sent me bamboo in the mail. Isn't that random? Um, alright, so let's get rid of all this stuff. See horsies? I don't even want those bamboo shoots. Sorry, Daisy May. Look at all the fine things you've got in today. 30,000. I'll take it. I just, I hate because you, when you keep, look in your inventory, you can't see how loaded up you are on fruit, you know? It's just kind of like a whatever. Ooh, I will totally take this mixer. Oh man, I'm excited to see your plays. It's been a minute. Have you been, have you been playing pretty consistently? Since, uh, I guess since, oh, this lacy parasol's cute. Since the last time we smoked. Smoked, wow, played. T I'm gonna say spoke, but it came out smoked, but I'm like not even mad about it. <laughs> oh, I'll totally send you that mixer. I'll do that right now. 
Let's see, any of these walls though? I feel like this would be good for an office. I'll take this just in case. I start with a grid and I've been slowly chipping away at it. Okay, not bad. Yeah, hey, shit, who else needs a smoothie maker? I got y'all. I just saw this really sick tutorial on YouTube right before I logged on. And it's basically how to change your force perspective. Um, so I might actually make a little section here that's like force perspective. I just gotta see the layout of my island and how it looks. All right, one smoothie maker. Going to Polyclon. All right. You know what? We might as well wear the umbrella. Even though it's a lace umbrella. <laughs> At least we're stylish, right? It's a nice sound effect. I really want to get the uh, umbrella holder that you could put like outside a store or something. I can send a message. All right. Ready to send a letter? Let's send one. A friend. I want to write to Clognon. Clon. Hmm. Oh, this one's cool. Mixer time. Oh, I got you. I've got a workout bench, you know. The mixer would go with the protein shakes. All right. So I heard that it was rumored that we might get a mailbox or a post office. I don't know if that's real or not. I don't know if you send enough. Uh, I don't know if I send enough mail to actually do it, but we'll see. We shall see. Thanks for your business. You are super welcome. Yeah, I was reading. So somebody made, literally took the time to go through. Look at how dark it is, Jesus. To go through all of the uh, code in the Animal Crossing. So they're seeing like what, they're like reading the code and being like, oh, like this could be this. I hope we get a tailor shop upgrade. Shoot, that'd be amazing. It might be like New Leaf, where Leaf and Nook's Cranny kind of like turns into one. What a surprise to see you. I have a reaction I'd like to teach you. Amazed reaction. Oh, I like that one. I learned the amazed reaction. Cool. Maybe I'll be able to catch a Coanthith or whatever that. Coanthith. I really cannot pronounce the name of that fish. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna plant y'all here since you guys don't want to grow on the ground. You look pretty big. Come to me. Oh, he's shy. Let's see. Uh, oh, I've been telling you for a little bit. I think they went. Oh, I hope so. I've been talking to Sable every day as well. Has she given you all of her like little custom patterns yet? Cause I think I've like taken all of them from her, honestly. <laughs> Cause it got to a point where she was like, just not giving me any new patterns anymore. So who knows? Yeah, I think label, um, cause she takes like observations of our outfits or whatever, so I think she might eventually have a upgraded tailored shop. I hope so, at least. I hope so. Alright, let me examine my island real quick to see if I can make this 
focal point or whatever. Yes. Awesome. Do you want to or should? Um, okay, so let me check how my map is. Let me just see something real quick. So I got some... Okay, this might work. By my apple orchard, I do have a little chunk sticking out. So maybe, maybe we could, uh... Maybe we could see what's up with that. So this is just like a cute little vantage point, basically. Um, I have to figure out where exactly it is, though. I think it should be like, oh, here it is. Okay, cool. I found it. Yes, the rocks behind the island and like a little road and stuff. I feel like that's such a cute idea. Yeah, with the lighthouse. And some of them did the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The wind turbine. Good thinking. Okay, so let's. It's like, do I want to get rid of my orchard? Yeah, I don't even care. Let's just do it. F it. <laughs> Clon <Klonga>. got. <laughs> <gasps> All right. Oh my god, can we please have a drawing session? Like this is these are the necessities that I'm trying to talk about, you know. Oh yeah, there's my little cliff. <laughs> Dumb to me. This will be like the secret section. No, are all my shovels gone? Start with a family page. Cool. Okay. okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting a couple pings at work. All right. Thinking we can name them. Good thinking. All right, we're back. Might be. I would love to just watch you draw while I compliment you. Yeah, honestly, like, Colin, you got the skills, so I'm I'm down with that. But I would like to have a mutual drawing sesh as well. I just freaking love doodling and stuff. It's so fun. I just got the tan tone notebook, which colors turn out super well on that one. So, you know, could we do a stream like that, like a three-way stream? Would that work? Okay, so how do we do this? He did like two layers. Oopsie. Oh yeah, we should do it. Yeah. Is that even like the right section? Ugh, why is my rock all like shitty? <laughs> he had such a good rock. Is this my only good one? Um, I'm down for any of those options. Like, it's all good to me. That is like my only big rock that sticks out. That sucks. I have like a huge thing on it. Well, you know what? I don't think this is gonna work on my island. Dang. I mean... I guess it could... Ugh, I don't think it's gonna work actually. 
Dang, whatever. At least I tried. You had a pizza in the oven. I don't know why that's so funny. Oh my god. Been there. I remember this one time with my college roommate, it was her pizza literally turned black. I was like, oh geez. <laughs> oh damn. Well, I guess I can't do this on my island. That kind of sucks. See how all of my island is like, there's no like rock sticking out far enough. But I sure got a lot of weeds. I swear I just plucked all these. Plucking weeds, plucking weeds. That's so annoying. I want like a cool stick out section. Yeah, like damn, I really want it though. Like. I guess let's just see how much room we could get on this. I don't even know if the light house would fit here. Like, so it's just this big friggin' rock right here. Like, he put a little parking lot in. I don't even know if I could fit that in here. Hmm, whatever. Not all islands are made equally, but that's okay. Let's go get a shovel. What do we need for a shovel again? <gasps> Did all my turnips go bad? Hell no. <gasps> it's because I've been time traveling. Oh my god. No. Oh, I spent like 300,000 on all these. Damn. Wow, that's seriously rude as hell. Well, I haven't. Maybe I have to put it outside. I'll put it some, some soil turnips outside. Damn, that's so annoying. So if you time travel at all, will they like always go bad? Like what's the what's the deal with that? Wow, that's seriously so annoying. Welp, so much for having, uh, dang. Two time travels, damn. The most I've ever done was five days, so. Dang, well, whatever. Um, oh shit. Ah. All right. Well, at least I know now. It was only like three hundred thousand bells. <laughs> oh, look at all these new recipes I got. I got sci-fi flooring and asteroid, golden toilet, golden dishes. I haven't time traveled in a few weeks. Oh, shh. Yeah, we we both got our own little uh, obstacles to get through. Okay. Where, where are you, Wood? There you are. Colin, would you ever... Um, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use the golden toilet, but would you ever stream Animal Crossing? Yeah, I feel like the golden is wait, is a golden throne the same as a golden toilet? <laughs> Let's see if I'm eligible for this one. We need iron. Okay, okay, I would watch that. That sounds fun. Look at how many gold nuggets I have. Okay. Um I still would love to see some Animal Crossing characters in your style. I feel like 
That would go really hard. Damn, I can't believe all my turn I'm so bad. I'm such a fool. Oh, I wonder if I could sell them for anything. Probably not. Oh shit. You got two cuties right now. That's what I like to hear. I can't wait to see. One second. Yeah, I can't wait to see. It's gonna look so good. All right, let's go put all this back because my island's not as cool as I thought it was, but that's okay. All right, so cherry tree. I'm gonna plant you here. Another cherry tree. Oh, you're streaming today? Is that about this time you know, stream? Yes! What time are you streaming? Later. <laughs> you should let Evan know so we could pop in the stream. Because I'm all about supporting friends and their live streams. And we are really living in the live stream era. So. Three Pacific. Okay, cool. Sounds good. What is that? Are you... Pacific's two hours away, right? Yeah. I am super down for that. Uh, how much room do I have? Okay, I could collect three things. Of, okay. Yeah, we're central time. So right now it is 3.11 p.m. Which is, so that means it's probably like one for you, I think, right? Okay, where must staircase go? There you are. Go! Do you need your drawing tablet? Can you use like an iPad or something instead? Where is it? Where where do you forget it at? <laughs> I'm like, I haven't been anywhere to like forget something in so long. <laughs> Assess my fossils, bladders. Oh, is your studio somewhere else, I'm assuming? Better than your house. Let's take a closer look. The, man, the past like five times I've gone to the museum, they've already had all the fossils. Oh, very cool. Okay. That's not too far. Alright, do I have any cool fossils? Let's see, let's see. Oh, this one might be cool. The ones with like the singular names usually make good decorations. Oh, that one's cute. Okay, we got one. Mammoth skull. I think I have this one already. I always get this one. It's like a freaking skull. All right, let's, let's put this little decorative dude somewhere. Okay, drop it. Okay, we gotta put him somewhere first. Maybe I could put... Um, maybe right here. No, that doesn't really work there. Okay, let's try over here. Ooh, right there. Yes. Oh, come on, there's some room. Okay, fine, right here. Actually, I'll put it right here instead. Oh, yeah, Jeej to the rescue. That's what I'm talking about. Um, 
So how do you decide on like what you wanna, what you wanna draw? Is it pretty random or do you have like a set, set way of doing it, I guess? All right, and then I'll put this guy in here. Let's see how that looks. He doesn't look good like anywhere. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll just put him here for now. I chose a doodle that I've sketched in the past to take a picture. Okay, cool. Just basically making the already done drawing digital. Oh yeah, definitely. I can see that evolution happening. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy to look at something you've already done and be like, um, I could change this. <laughs> we gotta plant those cosmos. I got a couple more. That's the neighbor I'm shunning, by the way. You can't draw digital. I feel you. It's not easy. It is so much easier for me to draw like uh, with my hands. Digital drawing is difficult. I feel like when I do it, it always comes out very geometric looking, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But hard, it's hard to give it like that, that like touched feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Watch turnips be like 600. Let's see. Let's just see how much they are. Okay, 106. Um, please let me know if you need help with anything else. Sounds good. You know, I remember Red Clay Bandit saying that he might want that alarm clock, so I might have to go get that for him. I just cannot believe how rainy it is on the island. Like, what is going on? And then we'll take some of this. Oh, for sure, yeah. Did you see that technique where it's like, um, if you get five people to water your flowers, you're basically like guaranteed like 80% chance that there's gonna be a new flower growth or something. So you have to have five people visit your town and then it'll have an extra bright, it's like a golden sparkle. Um, and once you get the golden sparkle, uh, then you're basically like guaranteed to have it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let me clean up my freaking museum. This is what I get for not getting enough inventory. This is another thing about Animal Crossing. Like, why don't they want us to have more inventory? Like, it's not gonna hurt anyone. You can use left and right trigger to get like, a bigger inventory, you don't have to change the design. They you can literally take the same code from the inventory from the storage in the apartment, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just make it pages. I feel like it's such a, such a helpful thing if we had that. I guess it's not realistic, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what their reasoning is. Man, I can't believe the one time I bought like so many turnips, they all just, they all just pooped out on me. It's fine. 
Yeah, I think they will. I definitely think they will. The another update I saw was that um, what should we call it? You can go to different islands and stuff, and uh, you can get your items sent back home to your storage without having to leave the item. So like if you're on Tarantula Island, you can just keep sending the tarantulas back, which is really cool. Oh, I know, whatever, it's okay. Like, I'm sure there's other penalties because my lame ass dude, Bud, that I wanted to move out, here's another update that happened over the weekend, Bud finally said, he's like, oh, I think it's time for me to go. And I was like, fuck yeah. And then I time traveled and then some random dude showed up and he's barely better than Bud. Like he's just, he was the guy in the shop. He's just this like gross koala. <laughs> I did time traveling. So I started on the first and then I'd go to like the third and then I would go back to the first and then I'd go to like third again and then I'd go to like the fifth. And then I'd go back to the first, and then I'd like go to the fourth, and it was just like a bunch of like bouncing like that. So the most I've ever done at one time was six days, maybe a seven. So that probably effed me over. But it was worth it. I'm just I'm just set back one week. It's all good. <laughs> hey guys. What do you need today? I want to sell. Take all my spoiled turnips that you could probably get for like one bell. Um, I think that's it. What are the numbers? 900 bells, oh my gosh. Damn. My turnips really do be gone, huh? If you get headphones while you're playing, you can hear it. Oh, I've never played with headphones before. Very good tip. Because the balloons spawn. They spawn like every four minutes, don't they? I feel like every time I play, I get like maybe like five balloons, like max. I don't really get a lot of balloons, so I feel like hearing them would definitely help. That's one thing I don't really like about the waterfalls in this game. They're so loud, but I guess waterfalls in real life are super loud. Famine. Okay, I'll definitely check on that. And send, send Red Clay Bandit another gift. Ready to send the letter? Yes. Friend. No problem. Okay. Look at this one. I said, oops, for you. Gotta add the smiley in. Alright, what did I get again? Typewriter? No. Not the old fashioned one, but the digital, yes. Oh, I mean, my request is anything related to Animal Crossing. That is my request, but... Oh yeah, if you're trying to do a new character, that's definitely not Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, I vote either new character or anything Animal Crossing related. It doesn't even have to be like a villager. It could be, you know, it's like anything. Like the bell symbol or the leaf or something or just like a little like compact version of like your apartment who's the what kind of animal is a new character or is it a human yeah you definitely should I want to do that once I get my house into a place that I actually like because I've been working on my island so much that my house definitely has been neglected. Did I show you these little gardens that I built? So this guy has a little bamboo garden. She's got a rose garden. So I think there's actually one mom in there. <laughs> Sheep. <laughs> wow, that's a great character. 
Here's another little garden I made for this chick. I gotta get rid of these spots though. Do you have a penguin character yet? Just like in general? Oh shit, wrong. The little gardens are my way of breeding flowers, like hybrids. I had a boomer. <laughs> so here's a tulip garden, except I haven't had any success with any breeding so far. Um, damn, I can't believe I can't make the forced perspective in my game. All right, we just about to be throwing away all these freaking tulips or whatever they're called, turnips. I wonder if I have a garbage can, if I could just uh, put them all in the garbage can. Let's try it out. Let's test our theory. Oh, thanks. I wanted to do one of like every color and every different type of flower. Oh shit type of flower as well. It took kind of a long time, but I really like how it turned out. I got my first gold rose over the weekend too. You get those by putting black roses out and a gold one will eventually turn up. Okay, where is this garbage pail? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna toss all these turnips. Oh shit, no, you go back. Oops. Okay, good. So we got three more spots. One, two, three. Gold Roses makes it 29 hybrids in a hybrid guard. For 28 flowers? <laughs> It's so weird. I thought you needed like more than one flower to get a hybrid, but I had one black rose and I got a gold rose from it. So I don't really know how that happened. Pansies are, I'm trying to get some more orange pansies. That's what I want my museum area to have. All right. The orange ones are so cool. It's like two flowers in one. Okay, so I gotta remember to save one turn up for uh, to catch an ant. Let's put some of this away. I'm logging on now. All this garden talk. <laughs> oh, that's great. Put away. Storage. Okay. Should be able to get. Oh, I use K Force. That's uh, that's how I got my job at. HP and Microsoft. They are pretty awesome. You also get full benefits as a contractor, which is very dope. Oh, what'd they say? Red Clay Bandit. <laughs> Was it like out of the blue they hit you up? Dang. I want to do that. Is it, uh, is it fully remote? Oh yeah, it is, okay, cool. Nice work, that's what I'm talking about. All right, listen, Mr. Turnip, you are gonna stay here. And you are gonna rot until I could catch some ants off of you. Same with Creative Circle. 
Do you like K-Force or Creative Circle more? Because I haven't worked with Creative Circle. Also guys, I think I need to take a break in my stream soon, but I'll come back. I just have to, I just have to uh, do some work stuff first. Oh, well look who just signed on. If it isn't Klon. What is in my pool? Do you guys see that? It's like a... It's like a moving... Oh, is it the water bug? Is that how I move? Why does that so creepy? Oh, is that a frog? What is this thing? A diving beetle? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Clon, clon, the clog on. <laughs> a diving beetle. Oh my god, I really hope I never see one of those in real life. That sounds like not a fun time. It's just a beetle coming after you. It's like covered in armor. Alright, pool. I did not mean to put you away. I haven't run into a scorpion yet. I'm looking forward to it though. Are they scarier than tarantulas? I think Evan ran into a scorpion yesterday. <laughs> Got stung good. See, look at those freaking cool orange ones. Like, I need more of y'all. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Blathers. I'm back again. Poop. Poop. Assess fossils. What would you like me to assess? I got two for you. Let me guess, you already got them. I knew it. Um, let's make a donation. What would you like me to donate? Diving beetle and the violin beetle. I need to call them out. Um, I'm fine. Okay, cool guys. I'm streaming for 42 minutes. Okay, let's make it an hour and then I'm gonna head out because I do have some work I need to get done. I might actually end it a little bit sooner because <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Um, all right, um, let's get these pooches. They're getting a call map. Well, you'll be streaming later, so we will see you in that stream. I'm excited. Everyone sound the alarm. The Kiptoonus is going live. Oh, yeah. Okay, coconuts come to me. It's so weird that flowers can't bloom on the beach. It's like they just get stuck. All right. Um, and it's like I could sell more coconuts. I'm just picturing each of my coconuts as a turnip. So, pretending they're getting sold for 500 each. <laughs> um, oh hey girl I want you to have my garden faucet oh my god thanks girl oh my best
dusty. Oh, I wonder what color it is. Hmm, okay. Not bad. Oh, what was this again? Oh yeah, it was a book. Maybe I'll put that in my, uh... Let's put this in my little... My little office area. Wow, the city is popping right now. Hey y'all, I'm back. I am back. I wanna sell, what are you offering? Got the spino tail, the other tail, the coconuts, and that's it. 15,000, I'll take it. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I got some work to do, but this was a nice little short stream. I might stream later, we'll see. Um, definitely gonna stream tomorrow though, so I will catch you guys on the flippity flop. And have an amazing rest of your day. And if it's nice outside, definitely go outside. Take a little break. Get some sunshine. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!